Hi there and welcome to A Goblin Walks Into Bar. I'm here with uh, Luke and Jay. We're going to be playing Scribble Knots Unlimited today. I love Scribble Knots, it's the best. It's... Never played it on a big on a computer, so this will be interesting. Yeah, for me. I, I, I first played Scribble Knots on DS. Like I got the first one. Yeah. I first saw it in like um, the official Nintendo magazine. I just had to get it because like the example they gave was um, the Darwinist solution to a puzzle in which they made a ladder out of pandas. It was so uh, pretty. Yeah. Well, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just got it on your recommendation. Yeah. I oh, yeah. it was, Luke. Uh, yeah. Do you want to start it then? Yeah, let's go for this. See what happens. See what happens. Our uh, story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. Yeah. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. No. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for What's generations. Up, only to find <laughs> Julie was already there so having lunch. The they competed like this on adventure after adventure. After on one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost oh. pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. <laughs> The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. Wow. Oh, damn, girl. Wow. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it. And poof, the word would so come to life. So were the other 40 children neglected, or do they have, like, super magic powers as well? They're not special. Like Andy. Our parents <laughs> were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside <laughs> what? world. What? Like, oh, On we're scared that city, giving you magic stuff we makes you spoiled. We ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. Cause he's a douche. Apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon wow. as he tasted it. And was very, very, this, very angry. This child has conjured a purple apple. Oh no! He probably thought it was an overseer. And then like, disappeared. Like um, my mother always like told me not to happened. take apples from strangers, but overseers were okay. To continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. Okay. The old man had put a curse yep. on me that was turning me to stone. What kind of douchebag <laughs> magician is that? <laughs> Everyone in this game has been a douchebag so far. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. <laughs> Lucky for us, Edwin. What did Lily do? Starites. Like. Starites are magical objects born out of the <laughs> happiness of <laughs> others. We do enough things to make others happy. I mean, manly things. Specifically, the happiness of others. Like, Hopefully, surely if you're happy Max enough, you generate the generate a star. Power for Not if you're a douche. Like, like look at that derpy I'm ass face. Sure a lot of the people you help are douches. Oh yeah, like. Um, just as a point, uh, me and Jay have played this game, uh, Andy here is the one, like, new. Sitting confused and wondering what the hell's going on. because we're talking over the cutscene. Sorry! But no, um, one of the levels later on, you help someone escape from jail? And that makes everybody happy, right? Right, Andy, you can move now. Oh no, maybe not. Whoops. Go, you can do it now. Okay. <laughs> so, as a point, in order to, like, minimise the amount you hear on, like, the microphone, um... Yeah. Andy has got the mouse, and he's using that to move. I have the keyboard. I'm going to be typing in the words, which means you get to see my amazing attempts at spelling, because, um... I'm an English student who can't do words. Turn the runs of the litter into an award-winning pig. Write an object, Andy! <laughs> an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. Yeah, Andy has I this really... I pressed things too quick, but I'm sorry, okay? Andy has a habit of typing, like, alright, oh, what am I typing? Oh yeah, like, uh, just the point, like, these ones are, like, they tell you off you do the wrong thing, so we're so just... To help him scrub it. Yeah, you can scrub things with soap. Give it to Maxwell. Like, if it's not gonna work in this bit of the game, it doesn't give it to you. You see how the game works now, baby? 
We don't need that. Just keep going, baby. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at him learning. I'm gonna stab you with... The pig? My pig, yes. No. Drag this, the thing under the word. <laughs> you got that? An adjective, Andy. That's a word. What are we doing? Oh, let's just go for giant. Like... Oh, no, I've got one. Go for it. Oh, man. Yep. Humongous. No, 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 no. Huge <laughs> ass. Okay. Huge age. Yeah, we want huge... No, I want eerie. Huge acid pig. Huge acid pig. Come on, let's go for acid pig. Okay. Huge acid pig. Acid pig. No, it's not like we have. Acid huge? That's not what we said. Okay. Here we go. Big piggy. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, um... Hmm? Use Sylvan. Sylvan? Yes. Uh, S L Y. Okay. Um, you can no. add it to, you can add adjective there. Is it create object? Is right. Create so you need to create yes. object. Yes. yes. The only one that you're allowed to do, Andy. It so, could have been use notepad. Yeah. Oh. Uh, large wings. I'm pressing shift to make capital letters, even though, like, you know... Yeah, I did that. <laughs> the magic backpack stores things for later, Andy. You will never use this item again past the tutorial. Put it in the backy packy. Left. There we go. Good boy. Like, after and... the tutorial, you just make, like, supersonic jet boots or whatever. Yeah. Now you pull them out. Yeah, this bit always, like, this is, like, what we're talking about when we say, like, you know, the happiness of others. Like, you know, like, blah, you've just blah, made, like, blah, blah, your blah, brother blah, really blah, happy blah, by winning, blah. like, making his pig win the competition, right? Uh -huh. Those two have probably spent, like, time and effort training their animals, although one of them is a guinea pig. <laughs> which is a beautiful, beautiful joke. But, you know... It and then, also like, does better than the actual pig. Yeah. Like, but, you know, you know, you come along, like, five minutes beforehand, clean up the fucking pig, and then he wins the, tr the competition. How is that fair? You don't. You can just walk into them, baby. You don't need to like actually cook them to pick up. You, but you could have. Like there we go. Okay, I, I don't know. I've been a while since I played this, and I, the DS was a bit nice different. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. sound effect. This game is just so clever. Right, we still need to do like the cheaty ass. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, sorry. Um, nothing, nothing. Use the star right vision, Andy. I think I can activate that. No, nope. I can make you jump though. Don't help me jump. I'm I'm full of chocolate. Don't make me run, I'm full of chocolate. Yeah, right, help the sprout grow. How do you do that, Andy? Right, so... Clearly, you need to inflict this. What's the word we're after? Water. Oh yeah, because I can activate this too. Water? Okay. Water. No, we don't want pesticides. Oh. <laughs> uh, Use a tsunami. They're so fun. Okay, tsunami. <laughs> oh. Think out. Not Rain Cloud! Rain Cloud is the best wait character! Wait you can start throwing black holes. <laughs> wait. What? You've never made a black hole before. No, no I think this. he's more wor wor worried about like Audrey 2 running around. Hey, what? Right. Feed me! Yeah, so... That's what we... Like, now, like... Oh yeah, sorry. I'm in charge of the keyboard so I hit reset. Yes. Yeah, because like the, the girl like that you chased away, that one there, is another quest. <laughs> Just, ah, oh, bitch, we can oh, do what we want. That's shame. <laughs> I'm not sure it's like saved, but I had a bunch of, no. I had a bunch of stuff um, like from the Steam uh, work, 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 work thingy. That one. Yeah, that one. No, 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 Andy, no, Andy, you Andy. Don't Andy. Climb it. Andy. Come on, that's boring. Yeah, that's how, to do, that's how like, like normal people do it. Real people do this. Cthulhu! Yep. Now drop it to the left of the tree. Yeah? Nope. Like down a bit. About there. And we're gonna need to run. Because Cthulhu will kill us. Nope. Oh. Well, we don't need Edwin. Apparently Edwin is winning the fight with Cthulhu. Though. Wait, drop. Lift it up closer to the cat. The idea is to scare the cat out of the tree with it. Edwin, like, going balls to the walls with Cthulhu. <laughs> like. God damn it, Cthulhu. Get the cat out of the tree. Nope, this is not working. This usually works for me. Cthulhu usually always works for every Bad situation. Bad Cthulhu. But fucking Edwin. Right, nice. look how real scary god. Scary god. We're going for scary god. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What? 
Woo! Just this fucking cat! Like, I am not this impressed by a cat. cat. Come on. Um, um Wind. Wind. Andy with his amazing suggestion. Is this going yeah, no the your For fuck's sake, cat. <laughs> just, just this fucking cat! Just pet the fucking cat. Right, no, no. Right, um I've got a better idea. Um I had a better idea, but I forgot what it was. I want boomerang. Throw... I'm gonna throw a boomerang at the cat. I've never done this before. Let's go for it. What? That's not how you throw something, sweetie. Right, just because you, you've not, he's not played the game. Have another one. I can't throw things in this game. Right, quip it into you. Drag it to you. And now, yeah. Like, just click on the cat. No, we'll click. Well, no, you can click and then press throw. That's how I've always done it. There we go! And it goes, it's And it's pissed at the boomerang. <laughs> oh, but we scared off the fucking quest, Giver. <laughs> oh my, what? Oh, wait, what? I think. There we go. Why <laughs> <laughs> is the cat attacking her? I think is that yeah, that's the closest level. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be moving. Oh, yeah. So now we're supposed to go to the um, like you know the city and do quests there. You can play as Edwin, but why would you want to? No one wants to be fucking Edwin. But that's all we have time for on this episode of God Walks to Bar Plane Scribble Dots Unlimited. Yeah. Um. So we're going to be sitting here playing this for a little bit longer tonight. Um, like, so there's definitely going to be more than one episode of this. Also, it's a fantastic game and we get to go, like, screw up the city and, like, the next oh, yeah. level. Like, terrorizing cities. So, yeah, um, this has been the three of us. Well, me trying to play this game and failing. Well, no, it was the three of us. Don't try and take all the credit. Um, Although you were the only one I was to solve one puzzles. I was the one clicking and kind of failing at it. Yeah, but, you were the only one to actually solve a puzzle. Like, yo. Know, we only wow. Oh god, we should feel bad. Don't press anything, Andy. Andy, no. no. Right. Okay, I'll stop. Next time we're gonna go and walk into a bar.